Hey guys, welcome to a wonderful, fantastic workout of the week. Uh, this is a kettlebell workout. I got an ab man, we'll do some handstands, do a whole bunch of stuff that can't really do that well. Maybe you can do them well, maybe you can't. It's all good. There's gonna be modifications, go at your own pace. So if there is some uh, kettlebell, there's a little bit of kettlebell work, but there will be modifications, you don't need it. Uh, it's the middle of summer. I was actually gonna go out and do a track workout today, but we had like flood warnings throughout the day, so I figured we'll audible, we'll go inside. It's all good. Uh, this is a fantastic workout of the week that you can do. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. It's great. Works, works the whole body. Um, it's five rounds of exercises. So there's five different exercises. You're going to do 25 reps, 20 reps, 15, 10, and 5. And then you're going to finish with a 30-second plank for each round. I'll show you the exercises. Uh, it says five total rounds. It'll take you anywhere, anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes. It uh, doesn't really matter. Just kind of push your pace, take breaks whenever you have to. If you do this as a full workout, it is just all five rounds just like it is. If you want to do this as a finisher, just rip through two rounds back to back as fast as you can. Um, but anyway, like always, especially with the kettlebell swing, get a coach if you've never done a kettlebell swing. Any exercise that you are uncomfortable with or unfamiliar with, just modify down, scale it to you, work your way up the way you have to. I gotta come move my mouse here. I'm filming this one on my MacBook for the first time instead of my phone, and uh, the light goes dim. Anyway, here is the workout. Um, the first exercise you're doing 25 reps of, and that's kettlebell swings. So just grab a kettlebell, and then you're gonna do 25 swings with that kettlebell, making sure you are set up in a good form. So hinging back, nice, tight, Tight back, not rounding your back up. Tilt that kettlebell back towards you. Strong hike up to your butt, and then thrust with your hips. Delay that hinge, so it's all in your hips, all in your hips, and then when you are done, gently set it back down with a nice tight back. So 25 uh, kettlebell swings. If you cannot do kettlebell swings, you feel uncomfortable doing kettlebell, swing, kettlebell swings, you're doing just 25 glute bridges, so on your back, heels up towards your butt, uh, toes up in the air, Drive your heels through the floor and squeeze your butt really, really tight for three to five seconds. And then come down and then drive your heels up, squeeze your butt up to the ceiling. Three to five seconds. So 25 swings or glute bridges. Then you're doing 25 ab mat sit-ups. Sit-ups can be tough on the back. So if, if you have lower back issues, this is stressful. Get rid of this all together and definitely not worth the stress. But if you can, if you have an ab mat, that's great. If not, just doing sit-ups. So come over that, sitting all the way up. Arching all the way back over, sitting all the way up. If the, if the sit-ups are too much, uh, you can do either dead bugs or twists. So on your back, straight leg dead bugs, nice and slow, arms and opposite arm, opposite leg, rotating, or just twists, uh, just to keep your feet up, try to stay palm to palm, twisting side to side as deep as you can. If you can't do that, unhook your hands, hook your feet, drop your feet right to the ground. Over time, slowly start to lift your feet up, but build up that core strength. Uh, so 20 of those. So it's 25 swings, 20 sit-ups. Then you're doing 15 power skips with each leg. So the power skips are they're like we call them Super Mario's, where you are going to drive up through one foot, and like Mario was going to punch a block. If you played Mario and Luigi, I always thought Luigi was underrated. Um, I, I'm just going to. So my op it's like like I'm running. Opposite arms are going to be going up. I'm going to get down into like a little mini lunge. I'm not actually going to really lunge down, but then I'm going to drive up and drive straight up and down. Then I'm right back and driving straight up. So it's pretty quick and it's like an acceleration up hard as you can drive through that down leg. So 15 on one side, then you're going to switch sides and I'm going to be doing 15 with the other side. Slight step back, driving straight up. So 15 power skips with each leg and it leaving the ground, that explosive coming off the ground is too much and just do a little step back and then just come up with a high knee. Step back, come up with a high knee, right where you're at. 15 of those, then you're gonna go back to the kettlebell and you're gonna do 15, I'm sorry, we just did 15, 10 uh, kettlebell cleans to a squat. So I have my kettlebell here, I'm going to do a nice clean. So I'm gonna straddle the bell, coming down, hinging back, nice tight back, dropping my butt a little bit, bringing my chest up, driving through my heels up to this clean position. Then I'm gonna drop down into a squat, chest up, now my knees and my hips are flexing, uh, elbows inside of my, I'm sorry, yeah, elbows inside of my knees, and coming up, then I'm hinging back down, same thing, so that's one rep, through my heels, up to a clean, squat, two reps, hinge back down, uh, and so on, and if 
all of that is too much, skip the clean part. If you don't have a kettlebell, skip the clean part and just do 10 four second squats. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, and then come up strong. One, two, three, four, and then come up strong. So always through my heels, um, focus on keeping that chest up, keeping that chest up, weight goes back. Uh, I don't want my knees tracking way over my toes, driving up through your heels, low, just as low as you can. Then lastly, this is the fun part in the struggle for me, you're gonna do five handstands, trying to pause for three seconds. Now if you're me, you're just trying to get up into a handstand, not fall all over the place. Um, so you're just going to try to come down, come up into a handstand, hold that, and then come back down. One rep, and go back, try to come up and do a handstand, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then come down. Um, if you can't do a handstand, all of that's just completely ridiculous for you. Again, it's a lot of just practice, try to go nice and slow, and you're gonna try to pause it for three seconds. If you can't do that, just do five get-ups, not Turkish get-ups, just get down on the ground, spread all the way out, any way you have to, stand back up and go down. Let's say I rolled up on my right side that time, maybe this time I try to roll up on my left side. Uh, maybe you gotta have a chair or something next to you and crawl up, but do get-ups at your pace. So five handstands with a three-second pause or five get-ups, then finish each round with a 30-second plank, elbow plank, nice tight core, really squeezing your core tight, kind of squeeze your butt, keeping everything nice and balanced. If your butt starts sagging, and just let it drop, come out of it, rest, then go back in it. So that's one round. Uh, 25 swings, 20 sit-ups, 15 power skips with each leg, 10 squats to a clean, five handstands with a three second hold, um, 30 second plank. Rest for as long as you need to, probably anywhere between 30 seconds and two and a half minutes, then go do your next round. Five total rounds of that. You're going to absolutely love it. And if you don't love it, just start smiling and kind of fake it till you make it. By the end, you will absolutely love it. Bring some friends with you, get them fit too. Always scale to you. You get no cool points by getting hurt uh, the rest of our lives to get in the best shape of our life. And it starts right now. Let's get fit this week.